Um, I'm just about to sit down with Sky's lunch and do another little training session that will hopefully result in her getting her nails trimmed. Um, now we did a little session this morning, just getting a comfortable lying in the position that I want her to be in, um, which I'll show you in a minute. And we've worked up to her holding still for a couple of seconds just while I put pressure on the nail and then she gets rewarded with a treat and then we have a little break and play and come back to it. Um, but we've not actually clipped the nail yet. Um, it's really handy that this, she's never had this done before. So she's got no associations whatsoever um, with the nail trimmers or didn't this morning. Now she thinks they predict wonderful things. Boo sadly has um, negative associations with the nail trimmers because five years ago when she was a puppy, um, I went to trim her nails and because her nails are completely black, are you falling asleep, Angel? Good girl. Because her nails are completely black, I cut the quick. Um, and it supposedly doesn't hurt, uh, groomers and vets will tell you it doesn't hurt, but she did yelp. I don't know, it was in, in surprise more than anything, and it bled a lot, and it was quite um, traumatic mm. for both of us. So she's been going to a professional. We pop into the grooming salon. It's five minutes, costs about a fiver, in and out, bish, bash, bosh. But I might as well do skies at home, um, because they're nice and clear, and I can, um, I can see the quick really clearly, and... Um, you know, I can start from scratch and train her that, you know, it's no big deal. We're going to lie here. It's nice and still. I'm going to be a little clip and then get some lovely treats. Um, Sky, where are you going? Good girl, get it. I'd also like to do them now because they're getting really sharp. We were, we were napping on the sofa the other day. Sky was sleeping on my chest, which is lovely. Puppy snoozing on your chest is one of the best things in the world. Get it. Um, until that's my finger. Ow. Also got really sharp teeth. Get it! That's better. Um, yeah, Boo heard something outside, barked. She startled and scratched me across the face. And I looked like I've been attacked by Wolverine for about three days. So we're going to get them done today, aren't we, baby? Um, I'm going to give Boo a Kong. So she's going to have a nice frozen Kong. Get it! Get it! Jump in the middle, please. Get it! Get it! Wow! Boo's going to get a nice frozen Kong, so I don't need to worry about reinforcing her settle. Um just while I work with Sky, and we're going to use Sky's lunch, aren't we? So uh, I'll go and get that ready and I'll come back. Yeah. Right then, so we've got Sky's toy for play break, so I'll tuck that under there. Um, but we actually have got me, you go get it, you go get it, you love that. And I have some little bits of cheese, so we're practicing recall this morning, we've got some bits of cheese left over, that's a lovely sit. Um, and the rest of it's just her dry food for her lunch. I'm actually just going to use, I haven't got any nail clippers at the moment that aren't huge. I'm just using human ones, which should be okay because her nails are so tiny. And what do we need? I think that's it, baby. Oh, I had a pillow, didn't I? Because otherwise she'll be upside down. So, we started this morning with her breakfast. Are you ready? Yes. I've been uh, working on making her happy to have her collar handled. Good girly, like that. And then all I did was just scooped her up. Sky's fairly happy to be cuddled. Yes, good girl. And we've worked gradually towards a position with her laying um, on my legs, with her head near my feet. I pinched this off uh, one of Kiko Pup's um, videos on nail trimming. It's a, a really nice, relaxed um, position for doing the nails at home. So head over to Kiko Pup's channel, that's K-I-K-O-P-U-P, -P, um, and check out all their videos because they're great. Um, so I work towards just laying her down. Oh, yes! And I'm using um, a, a verbal marker here. Yes! Instead of my clicker, just because I'm going to need both my hands. So, oh, yes! Marking when she's nice and still. Very good, that's nice. And then releasing her for a little play. Okay, get it, get it, get it, get it. You don't want to play, get it. I think she's actually more interested in the cheese, which is a first for Sky. Get it, woohoo, good girly, yeah, get it, woohoo, off, thank you. Should we try again? Touch, yes, good. Scoop. There you go, you're all legs, aren't you? You're all legs. Ready, whee! <laughs> yes. Okay, and then we've worked up to just handling her paws one at a time. So, oh, ready. Yes. 
Um, the way I did that is I actually showed her a treat first. This, because that way she's nice and still and she's looking at the treat and she's waiting for it. So, show her the treat. Just poke about really gently with her paw. Yes! And give her the treat. That's nice. Good girl. And the other one? Yes. Very good. And then you can just start pretending you've got a treat. So, yes. Good girl. You're listening to Boo Boo eating her car. Um, and we did all four paws like that, didn't we? Um, a few times. And then what I started doing was adding a cue. So I used, what did I use now? <gasps> what did I say? Oh, keep still. Keep still. Yes. Good girl. Keep still. Yes. Good girl. So that she knows when she hears that cue, she keeps still for a minute while I muck about with the paws and she knows something's definitely coming when she's heard that cue. Very good. Can we try this one? Keep still. Yes. Okay. The next step would be just to pick up your clippers and now She's not at all bothered by the sight of these. Have a little sniff, not bothered. If your dog's worried, you're gonna to have to do a little bit more work first on just um, desensitizing, counter conditioning them to the sight of the clippers before you can do this next step. So if they're okay with them, not a problem. You just literally hold the paw, keep still, touch it. Yes, good girl, that's nice. So I'm marking now just the touching of the nail clippers to the nail. Good girl, are you ready? Keep still. Good girly, that's nice. Should we do the back ones? Keep still. Yes, that's beautiful. You are so good. This one? When we practiced earlier, when we, when we started doing this, I did every single, every single nail. So I went one, two, three, four. Um, what should you call that? I'm gonna leave that one alone, I think. So one, two, three, four, and then we had a little play break and then come back to the next four, little play break. So we're doing every single one. Um, keep still. Yes, good girl. You want a break? You want to play? Ready? Okay. Get it, get it, get it. No, quite happy there. All right then. You are such a lazy puppy. You are. She's the most horizontal puppy I've ever known. Aren't you? Right, so should we have a clipping one, babes? Are you ready? I'm going to do this one. Okay, ready? Keep still. Oh, Mr. Step, sorry, we've done this, but I better tell you about this. Um, when you've done the touching to the nail, just start to do, keep still, a little bit of pressure, yes! So they get used to the sensation of just squeezing before the clip itself, and that predicts the trait. So I've already done that with Sky, so I'm gonna move on to clipping. Ready, keep still, just a tiny bit, yes! Good girl, and she gets a treat very nicely done. And we didn't cut the quick. Phew. Yeah, because that's what we did with Pooh Boo, didn't we? Ready? Keep still. Yes! Good girl. Cheese. Oh, cheese. Very nice. Ready, ready. Keep still. Yes! Good. Good girl. You got that, Boo. Keep still. Oh, you're so patient with me. Good girl. Might have a little close that one because I just know she pulled her foot away. Good girl. Well, that's good. That's nice. That looks really nice and tidy. Very good. So I'm going to get on and um, it'll be really boring for you to watch me do the rest of these. Uh, yeah. Okay. 